Hello, everyone. I got a weird treat for you today. That's a real working lock. Just for size reference. That's the standard four-wheel combo master lock. It's not a luggage lock, this little thing. This is a real made out of, oops, made out of actual metal lock here. There we go. You can see it's a Beko brand. And this thing is made out of some sort of metal, something with copper in it based on the color it's turned when exposed to water. If you've been in an apartment in the last few years, you've definitely seen this thing. You may not know where you saw it, but you're like, oh, I've seen those little things. This is what holds the fire extinguishers shut. Let's see if we can get a good look inside of the core there. You can see that first pin for sure. This thing actually has a three pin core. Oop, now it's blurry. Uh, this thing has a three pin core. Um, yeah, it's what they use to hold fire extinguishers shut. My guess is because you don't want kids just playing with them while they run around the apartment complex. So fairly low security application, not much actually goes into making these. They do, like I said, have a three pin core, which I could pick open, but like with a lot of these smaller locks, they can't shield the back of the lock. So the actual locking uh, lug, the spring-loaded thing that holds this shut is unguarded. You can see, if I pull on these two, I'll actually open that one. The reason I'm putting it on here is because I only have two hands, contrary to popular belief. What I'm going to shove into the back is this thing that looks like a tiny sword. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to manipulate that locking lug manually. Oh, I almost had it there. All right, you little dickens. Ah. It's always harder to do when I'm on camera. There we go. And just like that, you got that open. Yeah, it feels like there's basically a lever back there. Um, like, uh, yeah, it's, it's spring-loaded. You can probably hear it if I... That click you heard, that was the spring bouncing the little locking lever back up. This thing's good and rusted, but uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool thing. I'll have to put it back, because, uh, yeah, the, how I found it was it was unlocked. I kept seeing this. There was one near the, uh, the laundry place. This one was out in front of someone's apartment. It was unlocked, so I just whooped it real quick as we walked by, but... I'll have to put it back because there are kids who are here and uh, it's not mine, but I might play with it a little more before I put it back. Might try single pin picking the thing, although with a, with a core that small, I don't know if I can actually get a hook inside of there. Should we try it? Let's try it. Let's see if... Here's the smallest hook I have. I'll need a turning tool. <sighs> I haven't tried this yet, so, so this is definitely going to fail. Okay, let's see if we can single pin pick this. I've got a short but wide turning tool here, because it's actually a fairly wide keyway. But it's a short. Uh, yeah, it's gonna. Oh man, it is hard to get my turning or my 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 actual pick even to the back. It felt like it just moved at the core there. But I was just trying to see if I could get it back to the third pin. I don't even think I can. But I got some movement on the core. That's binding. Uh, okay. Pin one. 
It's binding. Pin two is set. Pin three, I cannot reach for the fucking life of me. Yeah, one is binding two. I can't get back to the... Yeah, you could hear there maybe a click. I had pin two set. Um, I don't... There is... Okay. Now we're really winging it. Can I get... And there goes the phone. The red one's the thinnest. Can I get top of the keyway tension on this? No, I, I can't really get this thing to tension correctly. What if I put it in like that? Okay. New, new strategy to put the turning tool in on an angle. Now can I reach to the back? Oh, I can. All right, fuck with me now. So we know it's pin two is the first one. Okay. Did I already set it? Now. I'm... Oh. There we go. Uh, we got movement on the core. There we go. We single pin picked it. Look at that. I didn't even have to touch pin one. Uh. I. I, I I mean, for a lock this small, how many actual bidding depths could this thing have? Four? Maybe? Um, it felt, yeah, I didn't touch pin one. Maybe I inadvertently bumped it into place, because sticking this tool in here, you can see just, this is not a thick boy. And it's taking up like a third of the height of that keyway. So anyway, this was fun. I guess I'll go put this back tomorrow. Um, yep. Neat. A cool toy for a, for a cool boy.